Charter Oak Federal Credit Union announces Gold Rewards with no ATM fees, special gold rates, an annual cash bonus, and much more. Just go to any branch or hit your wagon to charteroak.org. I've got a bet with my lieutenant right now. I say it's over 100,000 items. Uh, he says it's under 100,000 items. Actually, we have a, uh, a lunch bet on that. In the garage at State Police Barracks in Montville on Tuesday, police embarked upon a massive undertaking, sorting through thousands of pieces of evidence seized from a self-storage unit in East Lyme last week. Is, yeah, Jimmy, we're just going to do this as one item. And I'm going to say uh, between 75 and 125,000 items of evidence. As of this time, it's a day four of uh, processing. I think we're at uh, just under 700 right now. Police believe the items, with an estimated value of $1 million, were taken from homes up and down the I-95 corridor between New York and Rhode Island and are now cataloging them one by one. She'll put them in the computer, print out an evidence tag. It'll go to another officer who's taking photographs of the evidence, each individual piece. we put the evidence tag on, seal it in evidence bags, and then it goes into a box where it goes into the, uh, the cages that are behind you for uh, long-term storage. At this point, we're still attempting to link these items to, to burglaries. I mean, who knows if we're going to link, you know, a pack of socks to, uh, to any one burglary. There may be stuff that we're, we end up with that uh, we can't link to anything. Massachusetts State Police are holding Mark Messino and Bernard McAllister, the two men accused of stealing the items. Meanwhile, police in Connecticut have several months of work ahead of them before all the items are cataloged. I'd say probably early February, at least, 